Hi Aries, um, welcome to my channel Starkid Ignited. Um, today we're going to do a November reading for you. So we're going to look at your uh, current energies, past energies and upcoming energies. Um, I'm going to get a few cards for what emotionally is being processed and needs to be released. Um, and then finally we're going to get some an angel message and cards of advice from your higher self. So we'll get into this one. Um, now just so that you know... My readings are timeless, so whenever you see this, is the right time that you should be watching it. Um, and I also read for sun, moon, and rising signs. So if you don't know your rising and moon sign, you can go onto Google um, if you know your birth time, and that will tell you your rising and your moon sign. And you can watch those videos as well if you like for additional information or messages. Okay. Let's get started. So, Aries, Aries, can I please get one card for the current energy surrounding Aries? Can I please get one card for the current energy surrounding Aries? Okay, so you've got resilience. There is no need to rush or push. This is a time to take things as they come. You have the determination and patience to handle what is happening. Okay, so something's testing you right now. You're going to be feeling um, the need to be strong and resilient, to not move too quickly, but also to not stop or go backwards. Um, let's see what energy led up to this. So can I please get one card Ooh, for the recent past? And we've got Dive Into New Depths. Um, so this card says... In the past, there was a deeper meaning to what is happening. You might be looking at this from the surface and missing what is really going on. Take a moment to pause and breathe. Allow yourself to dive deeper into what it is you're feeling about your current situation. Okay, so we also have a one and a two. So I feel like there's been something new that's come up in the recent past that's really made you had a second look at yourself and maybe needed to dive deeper than you have been previously or what you've been comfortable with um and it's brought out a lot of you've needed to be very resilient to be very strong to be able to stay on this path now can i please get one card for the upcoming future please get one card for the upcoming future for aries oh beautiful okay so you got dancing in the rainbow breaking free from whatever you feel is holding you back Express happiness. Find out what you truly desire. That's beautiful. So it looks like it's been a really testing time. Um, and there's a need to kind of break out of the mold. So you might have been feeling really restricted. Uh, Mars is retrograde. So that's going to be putting all that energy um, focused internally rather than externally. Um, so that makes a lot of sense. It looks like there's gonna be something that you're ready to unleash or you're ready to um, really find what, make, what makes you happy with that rainbow, uh, dancing in the rainbow and the dolphin card. Okay, <clears throat> so now we're gonna have a look at, so more of the emotional realm uh, of what's going on under this. Um, so that deck was Whispers of the Ocean by Angela Hartfield. Um, and this deck that I'm going to be using for the emotions is the Saltwater Reading Cards by Laura Bowman. She is amazing. Okay. So um, for the Aries energy, can we please get one card for what's being processed emotionally? So what's being... Okay, so you've got... Eight Jugong appearances. So, obviously something with, you might be struggling with your appearance would be the most uh, basic interpretation of that. But with these together, you may be struggling to keep up appearances with what we can see in the the current energies in the past you've really been going on a very deep soulful journey um especially with that last card and with jugong 
especially because you can see the baby, it might be to do with keeping up appearances with your family. Um, that might be what you're emotionally trying to process right now, trying to work out a way that you can live your most authentic life while also keeping up um, those expectations. I'm just going to get one more card for what needs to be released on the emotional realm. So for Aries, what needs to be released? Okay, and we've got sea sponge. Emotional overload. So with this card coming up, it speaks about the sea sponge being able to um, absorb and like let all this water pass through it while only uh, taking the nutrients that it needs. Um, however, it kind of gives an analogy for emotion. So that if we hold on to all the emotions that are going through us, uh, we can't actually, like the sponge would just expand and explode. It needs to release and let those things pass through it. Otherwise it will become emotionally overloaded. So this card speaks about letting the emotions flow through you, um, knowing that you're getting everything you need from them and then releasing after that. So not holding on to them for too long, Aries. Um, so yeah, it looks like you're going through a massive shift and on the emotional plane, there is a lot to um, go through. We have a two, one, seven, eight, and 31 breaking down to a four. Um, so yeah, it's going to be probably a very big time for you right now, uh, which makes sense because you've also got all those planets in Capricorn, Saturn, Pluto, and Jupiter, and they will all be squaring Aries. So either squaring your sun or squaring... Um, other energies that you have in Aries. So just be conscious of that as well, because that's also going to be creating quite a dynamic tension and a dynamic pressure um, to get things done, get things right. So I can definitely see that here. Um, with what needs to be released, just remember it's emotional overload. You really need to release that to try and get to this future that you want of dancing in a rainbow, breaking free and being able to live authentically you in your Aries energy. Okay, so now what we're going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to grab one angel message um, and then we'll do two advice cards from your higher self for this spread. Okay, so angels, can we please have one angel message for Aries for this spread? Can we please have one angel message for Aries in this spread? Is it? No, it's three. No, I'm gonna keep it. Can we please have one angel message for Aries? One angel message for Aries in the spread. Can we please have one angel message for Aries in the spread? Okay. So we've got angel reassurance. Humans must be known to be loved. Angels must be loved to be known. When we love and are being loved, our souls sing. We are nourished and whole. Loving others is easy, but in order to love unconditionally, we must first learn to love ourselves. Loving is an expression of kindness, of communicating from the heart and of compassion. Learn to give the gift of love to yourself. Think of a quality you deeply admire, one you would attribute to an angel. Visualize that quality in the form of a flower bud and in your imagination, car carry it to your very core. Now look at the flower and admire it. Appreciate its perfection. Remembering those qualities, recognize that you too have these attributes. Acknowledge and respect yourself for that. Recognizing that your soul contains perfection, allow yourself to love it. Your soul has the qualities of an angel. As you begin to know yourself, you will learn how to love yourself. That's so perfect. So we've definitely got a lot of um, self-work. So there's a lot going on with yourself, with how you're handling yourself, how you're dealing with yourself and learning to love yourself. Um, whenever we break into something new, um, these things are all going to come up because we're stepping out of our comfort zone. So anything that previously wants to keep us safe is going to roar its head up. Um, and that's probably as well why we need to release this emotional overload and you're going through 
appearances because it's affecting you and affecting how you see yourself maybe how others see you um but just remember as that card said to visualize that quality that angels have that you also have and apply it to yourself and start to really believe that you have those things because the more that you believe and love those um the more it can start showing up for you your subconscious is purely all run on emotion it's run on feeling it just because you say like oh i'm gonna be happy tomorrow if you feel sad you're not you're not feeling happy tomorrow <laughs> um but if you for example get like really excited about something and you can feel it then your subconscious is actually um almost encoding that experience it's then seeking out that experience for you because you believe it and you feel it and then it's attracted to that feeling um okay so let's grab two cards from your higher self now i'm going to get one of the archangel power tarot cards and one from the starseed oracle so first we'll grab your tarot card so Angels, I ask that you please connect with the Aries Higher Self, that you help bring any necessary messages that the Higher Self wants to give them. For this spread, for this time of find, be, feeling resilient, sticking with the path that they've chosen, um, learning new ways to emotionally deal with things, learning... step into their power and break free from constraints and please get one card of advice from Aries high self okay so we have the two of Raphael two hearts dedicated to create creating something wonderful kindred spirits don't give up on those you love. So this could mean that you are um, currently creating something with someone. Um, I also see the Two of Raphael and the Two of Cups as um, a, almost like sacred communication with your higher self, getting aligned with your higher self. Um, with kindred spirits as well, there might be someone coming in. Uh, once you take this leap, that's actually going to assist you, that's going to help you um that will be dedicated to creating what you want to create so i think that's really positive i'm going to leave that one there and we'll get one more um card uh message from your higher self and this will be from the starseed oracle so can we please have one final message from aries higher self so for aries okay that's so perfect okay and oh we've got two we've got two all right so for your first card you get forge don't follow pave a new path be the leader that you wish you had and secondly we have perspective none of this matters zoom out common ground So I think those are just reminding you to continue on this new path. You've got it. You're going to be exactly where you want to be. Um, but keep it in perspective. Don't get yourself so worked up that you're feeling sick or that you're feeling um, emotionally overwhelmed or like you're being smashed around by waves with the seas. <laughs> um, you really want to keep it in perspective. Understand that you have infinite time to do this. Um, and as you step up to be the leader that you wish you had, you are changing the world. You are rebalancing harmony and you are putting out those messages for someone who needs to hear it in whatever way that is. Whether this is forging a new path um, in a business, in a relationship, in the way that you handle things, in the way that you go after what you want, in the way that you embody yourself. Um, it will be different for everyone, but I think it's really positive, helps on the way, you're destined to leave with this and there is hope and breaking free very soon. All right, Aries, so I'm going to leave you there. I hope to see you next month for the December check-ins. Uh, don't forget about November 11th, the 11-11 gateway for that day. 
Um, and I might be posting a pick a card reading towards the end of the month. So keep an eye out for that. And yeah, thank you so much. If you want to follow me on Instagram, I am with Molly's Astrologies. Um, my YouTube channel is Starkid Ignited and love to see you here again. Thank you.